10 unspoken Rocket League rules everyone should know. Number one, respect the rotation. A solid rotation means everyone gets their turn. If you hit the ball once in twos or threes and it lands in front of you, right? You're still behind it. You're allowed to follow up the play, but the moment you hit the ball and the ball ends up behind you, that is when you need to rotate out and around the play. Never should you turn around and go for a 50-50 after you lost it that's right behind you. I get it. You want to make a play and cutting rotation is a thing at the high levels, but in platinum and diamond, cutting rotation is not cutting rotation. It's just bad rotation. Make your play, then move out so the next teammate can step in. Unspoken rule number two, change your quick chat. If you haven't yet, go into your game settings and bind a few key quick chats. Those are going to be your top three or four that you'll use in ranked. So bind those. And remember, we're binding these shortcuts to help your teammates, not hurt them. With great quick chats come great responsibility. Learn to communicate for good. Rule number three, avoid overlapping your coverage. The ex-RLCS coach for Dignitas, Verge, describes something called radius of coverage. Ideally, you don't want your radius of coverage to overlap with your teammate. In solo queue especially, what's better than overlapping coverage is maximizing coverage. So try to keep distance between your teammates and cover hot zones on the map where you think the ball will go that your team doesn't already have covered. This is going to reduce the chance of you bumping into teammates, making double commits, and overall, it's going to make your solo queue experience much smoother. Tip number four, don't boost at supersonic. Once you hit supersonic, you're at max velo. Using boost beyond this point is wasteful. Don't burn boost. Point made. Tip number five, don't flip during a collision. Okay, what is a collision? A collision is any moment in ranked where, for example, it's a 50-50, the ball's about to bounce. For whatever reason, the play might change direction. When you don't know where the ball is going to go, avoid flipping. The reason is because you don't want to be committed in one direction during a collision, only to realize that you're stuck heading in that direction when something unexpected happens. Instead, any time a collision is going to happen, ground your car, avoid using boost, and try to maximize the option you can cover. Tip number six, don't dribble in front of the net. There's a time for power clears and there's a time for controlling the ball, but there's almost never a time for putting the ball on the roof of your car in front of your goal. 90% of the scenarios on defense is just clear the ball to the sides, make a quick pass or boom it out early because when it comes to having the ball in front of your net, you're better safe than sorry. Rule number seven, left goes on kickoffs. What this means is if you're aligned even on kickoff spawn, the player on the left goes for the kickoff and the player who's not going should ideally soft cheat. If you don't know what I mean by soft cheat, join the free school course and watch our free course on kickoffs in the beginner section. Because if you're not doing kickoffs properly, in my eyes, you're a beginner. Rule number eight, the default settings suck. Five months ago or so, I published a nine step checklist with all the settings that you need to change if you're a ranked player. So if you haven't yet, go watch that video, follow the checklist and fix your settings before you do anything else. Tip number nine, be patient with challenges. This tip applies for my ranked 2v2 viewers. Rushing into challenges is where most of your mistakes are made in 2v2. If you're somebody who's always flipping into every challenge or trying to early challenge people, the higher you rank up, the less it's going to work. Instead, as you climb rank, learn to time your challenges and incorporate fake challenges before your real ones to disrupt the opponent's play and win possession easier. Tip number 10, order matters. The order that you choose to learn things and the rank that you try to apply everything at can significantly alter how long it takes you to master this game and how long it takes you to rank up. The thing you have to understand in Rocket League is everything is situational. Sometimes what's more important than understanding what a rule is, is understanding why it is, the reasons these principles apply, what ranks they generally apply at, and when you're allowed to break these rules. So if you're watching and you feel overwhelmed by all of these rules and you're not sure if they apply to you, I think I made a video six months ago called the best mechanics you should learn at every rank. Go watch that to get a high level overview of all the different stuff there is to learn. That way you can prioritize what you need at your rank. Okay, that's me. If you made it to this point in the video, comment nice headband loser uh, or whatever people say in the YouTube comment section. Anyways, my brain is dying. I'm gonna go uh, tilt cue some rank twos and go throw some MMR. Wish me luck. See you in the next one, guys.